My very special guest tonight is Lisa Wilcox. How you doing, Lisa? Hello. Good evening. Thanks for coming on. Sure. I guess uh, we might as well get right into the into the meat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the nightmare in Elm Street. Um, yes. What was it like? What was it like to work with Robert England in the Elm Streets? Robert England is such a gracious, giving actor, and uh, and so encouraging, fun, um, and he's one of the smartest men I've actually ever met. I mean, he can talk about Greek history and then start talking about decorating and grout. You know, I mean, he's he's amazing. He's just a all around um, educated man and um, and just a great pleasure to work with. He yes. was in V and and um, yeah, and he'd done that and then I guess V has come back, hasn't it? I mean I just saw a couple months ago they had a whole V weekend on, on a cable channel showing all the um, the old ones and then they didn't they do a remake of V? There's a new series out with yes. the V. Yes there is. Yeah. Yes. So um, and I I got to watch uh, one of the older episodes during this weekend and I was like oh my God there's Robert <laughs> <laughs> so and and again you know and here it comes round then we did Fear Clinic last summer um, the webisodes and uh, and what a treat to work with Robert and I think it's been it's been like 20 years since we had worked with each other we'd seen each other right. you know over the years but um, to work together. Again, it seemed like, oh, it's been just a couple years that have passed. You know what I mean? I, I mean, it's, it's that kind of familiar, but it's also that, like, that familiarity with each other and just an ease with each other and, you know, just good chemistry. And, you know, the, oftentimes there was just really great chemistry on, on uh, Nightmare 4 and Nightmare 5 with them. But now, the, mm-hmm. fear, the fear clinic, and now that's on the, no, that's on fear, fear net. Rec- Yes, Fearnet.com. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Wrap your brain around that one. Fearnet.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got you. I was like, it's fear what? Fearcom.net? Fearnet what? Uh, you know, anyway, yeah, fearnet.com. <laughs> yep, and gosh, a lot of people watched it. Um, tons of hits, and uh, there are a couple of the uh, Steamy, Streamy Awards were, um, uh, there were nominations and two wins. For the series, and and um, and we still are very proud of it, and hope that something will become of it. You know, it's just a, it's a great basis for a future film, or an, and certainly for the series. So, keep your fingers crossed, and email fearnet.com and say what the heck's going on with your with your clinic. Yeah, it's uh, you you did a variety of you know I didn't realize that that you run a lot of, of uh, TV episodes as well. You have the, uh, yeah, back in the 80s, 90s. Mm-hmm. Oh, MacGyver. Oh, MacGyver. Oh, yes. I love MacGyver. Mr. Yes. Belvedere. Yes, Mr. Belvedere. He, in fact, that act, he gave me, oh, my gosh, what's his name? He Ellen. passed away a number of years ago. Oh, gosh, I, uh, he passed away quite a while ago, but um, he was so lovely. He, I have a, a silver charm bracelet, and I collect charms. And he um, he gave me a charm for my for my charm bracelet, oh. and it was a saint of some kind. I know, I still have it. Anyway, he's a he was a lovely man. Christopher um, Hewitt. The, Christopher Hewitt. Is that his name? Was that his name? Yep. Okay, there you go, Christopher Hewitt. And yeah, so many of these, you know, I did it, a show called that no one probably really would really remember, but you again, which was John Stamos's first. Um, he was doing General Hospital, and that was his first series. You again with Jack Klugman. I don't know if any of you remember Jack oh, Klugman. You, you older folks. But how? Yes, I mean, the pleasure. The, I can't. You know, so many of these shows, and the pleasure I've had to work with all these just wonderful people, wonderful actors, and charming, charming people. You got, a, you got a, you know, a great resume here. You know, it's amazing. Thank you. You know, I like I said before, I grew up in the '80s, so. Mhm. You know. Star Trek and oh god, Star Trek: The Next Generation. Mm-hmm. I love that show. Yeah, I know, and it was a I, I did I did a guest star, but it came um, rather prolific. The way this romance happened with um, the captain, and and he had to he had to blow me away, you know, and and um, but I ended up actually in the and then oh Roddenberry's nephew I believe was in the episode as well. So anyway. Um, Gosh, they're still playing it. And I was so excited to learn one day that, 
my um, character is on the Star Trek Next Generation Monopoly board. <laughs> I am a property on the board. Is that the coolest thing? <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you played Yuda, right? Mm-hmm, yes. Bill and Ted's <laughs> Excellent Adventures? Well, I didn't do the films. I did the TV yeah, series, yeah, the TV which series, was very right. short-lived, but we filmed up in Vancouver, and um, and that was just a hoot. I mean, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, I mean, gosh, that's certainly a title everyone's heard of. And, of course, I got to play Missy, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, hi, Missy. I mean, uh, Mom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, one of those famous lines. <laughs> Murder, she wrote. No, it was. It was a wonderful show, of course, yes. Yeah, no, there's just, uh, yeah, I had a great, wonderful time, you know, guest stars and co-stars and recurrings and, you know, that kind of thing. And and recently, actually, I did a, a pilot with uh, Kathy Bates. Um, yes, it was called Kindreds, but they have, they're reshooting it. It's going to be Harry's Law. Uh, and I, I'm unfortunately not in the uh, the redone one, you know. And I worked with Ben Chaplin, a wonderful British actor, um, but he's also been recast with somebody else. And this is how just how pilots work, you know. It's just yep. the way it is. But I will tell you what a pleasure to be on the set with. Hello, Kathy Bates, who is the most down to earth gal. And um, you know, we're just chatting away, and uh, we got to share. Um, some ghost stories we're kind of talking about. Oh, where do you live? This man, this guy lives in this Los Feliz area. And I said, Oh gosh, you know, Los Feliz. That's where I had a ghost experience. And and Kathy was like, Well, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and the thing is, the way I'm I'm telling the story, but in the pilot, I actually I, I get killed. So in this particular day, I'm in my death. I've got a slit throat. I've got bruises on my face and my and blood in my hair and all this. So I'm telling my ghost story, and she just stops, and she goes, you, Lisa, you don't understand. You're telling the story with the way you look? This is creeping me out. <laughs> anyway, it, it, was, it was really a hoot. It was, it was a great experience. So. Coming, coming from somebody who was torturing a poor guy in, a mis- in misery, huh? Um, yeah, hello, exactly, <laughs> which is a fantastic book, and what a movie. What a movie. Oh, She's a God. great actress, and she's just she's great. Down to earth, funny. You know, and getting to meet her was really an honor to work with her. So now you work with one of the macho men. He's he just turned seventy. Oh, who is this? A Walker, Texas Ranger. He turned seventy. Well, how come I only just turned thirty-five? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just turned fifteen. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Walker, Texas Ranger filmed that down in Texas. Lovely place to film. Lovely people. Great time. I was. I played a nun. Wonderful role. It was a an episode they played around Christmas time, and it's it's a oh, really yeah. beautiful, beautiful, touching story um, about um, a brother and a sister. Uh, and uh, he's been in prison, and I'm a nun. And then uh, events happen. Anyway, it, actually, it, one of my favorite um, TV episodes I think I've ever done. One of my favorites. So it has a great story. Chicago Hope. Mhm, mhm. Oh yeah. Yes, I played. This was a, this was an episode they did in black and white, and they were doing parodies of Alfred Hitchcock, Alfred Hitchcock movies. And I'm telling you, the fun we had with this. Oh, for heaven's sakes! I mean, it was just. A, it was a really unique, special episode. You know, um, daring and and. Uh, Another, again, that was another one where I'm on the set going, oh, my gosh, this is so great, you know. Wow. Great costumes and the black and white and the story and playing in. Uh, Tippi Hedren was on the show, was on, a guest star on this, on this episode as well. No yeah, no, that was, a, that, again, that was such a pleasure and such a treat to, um, you know, and another honor just to be there, you know. So. I, I, I didn't realize this, but I happened to look here, but you're in a Watcher's Reborn. Yes. I didn't, yeah. realize, I didn't realize that. That's one, I haven't seen that one yet. Oh, it, they play it on, um, oh gosh, not Showtime, but um, I think, oh, Sci-Fi. Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, well, my, my wife hogs the TV, so I don't get, <laughs> I don't get the TV. Oh, I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. No, yeah, um, and again, what an experience to um, 
I mean, hello, you know, this is uh, Mark Hamill, um, Star Wars. I remember the first day of filming, I was so nervous. I was just so nervous because I'm like, wow. Luke Skywalker. Yeah. This is Luke Skywalker. <laughs> and again, he was just, he was great, lovely. In, in fact, at the end of filming, um, uh, he and my family, he invited us over to his house and the kids got, my kids got to meet him and, wow. and uh, hang out and, you know, it, it was great we had we had and we had a really good time on set you and so. gary collins is in there even yeah oh yeah i know he's great <laughs> yeah gary collins yeah he's uh, you know what more of a host for tv, oh, TV yeah. shows and whatnot right back in the day oh of course i don't my, know what he's doing now of course my, my boy's in there with you too oh who's that kane hotter oh, okay oh, right oh yes in fact kane and i we were chatting i think it was even on the fear, fear clinic set we're chatting, and then somehow he went, I finally figured out. He's like, I knew we'd work together. I finally figured out what it was. You were in Watches Reborn. I was the clerk in the convenience store, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but that was fun. Lou Rawls was in it. Yep. Um, yeah, that was, oh, again. And that is one of my favorite books of all time. Watchers, the original Watchers, and this yep. Watchers Four is the closest to the book. In fact, during Nightmare on Elm Street Four, I was reading Watchers, and it had been suggested to me by I think Howard Berger. Yeah, right. Howard Berger had, had said this is a great book because I, I I love these um, um, uh, the genre, and uh, you know Dean Koontz, I'm a big fan of his work and and whatnot. So anyway, he uh, he had suggested the book. So then here, you know, how many years later? I then, I don't know, it was probably 10, 15 years, and then I got to do the, the Watchers movie, so that was fun. So anyway, you know, all kinds of fun little twists and turns, and, you know, just, uh, it's just interesting. You will. Yeah. Savage. Now, I've heard stories about Savage, of course, from Jack Harrison himself, you know, about the stunts. And about the uh, do you want to talk about the uh, kitchen the kitchen scene? Well, that was where we were having fun. <laughs> <laughs> we were just having fun. We were just waiting around on on set, and we're in the kitchen, and and by golly, there's Bigfoot in the kitchen. <laughs> wow. Okay, he's in my kitchen, and uh, and I and um, and we just started playing around, and I was like, you know, oh, and I had my camera. And I said, can you just, like, pretend you're, like, baking a cake and you're checking it? And then, oh, there's a fly swatter. Can you just, like, pretend like you're hitting flies? You know? and that would be funny. And, and, and it was just so funny because he's in full costume and, you know, doing these, you know, here's, here's um, Bigfoot, you know, we're undomesticating him, basically. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So it was fun. But, you know, that co- the, the, the costume was amazing. I mean, that was really, really an amazing costume. Um, and... Uh, cost quite a, a pretty penny, you know, yep. and um, I'm totally blanking on who was responsible for the um, costume. He was great. Toby you know. Sells. Toby, yeah, Toby Sells, yeah. So he, he really did, it. I think, a, a great job on that yep. and um, and just had so much fun with, you know, Marty Cove. I mean, <laughs> yep. what a hoot. Uh, and, you know, come on, you know, his resume, wow, you That's know, right. and um, and you know, just uh, I, you know, we had we had a good time. We were in Blakely, Georgia, this darling, beautiful town, um, and uh, just so picturesque with this town square. I mean, you just couldn't believe it. Um, it was just so charming and so lovely. Um, and uh, and then around there was you know beautiful vegetation and uh, roadkill. And and um, and you you know you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but it was it was beautiful. I mean, I grew up in Missouri, so that kind of thing. Um, I always uh, enjoy that environment quite a bit. And oh, and then there was a pond. There was a cabin. There's some cabin scenes. Um, and and there was a oh heck, is it an alligator or crocodile that lives down in the south? I always forget. Crocodile uh, or alligator? Alligator. Which, Alligator. And it's an alligator. Okay, well, there was an alligator that lived in this pond, and there was this big trash can full of, like, pellet food that you could throw out in the pond, and you'd hope that he would come up and visit. And right. several people did see him. I never did. I was totally bummed. But oh. anyway, 
I know, but it, it was really, it was really fun. Oh dear, I, I don't know, want to know. But you're up on a dock, you know. So you have some <laughs> boards in between you and and whatever. And the people who own the cabin, this is like their, you know, their pet, you know, animal. <laughs> Not that they could pet it, but you know, he, they were, you know, would feed them. You know, send that pallet to drug it. At, uh, get a look at him and then Tony Becker who plays oh, yeah. uh, the sheriff in it and he's um, I, I'm you know we're, we're married and we've got our our life out and you know, out in the woods and join you know out of the city and living the way we do and but you know you just can't get away from chaos <laughs> <laughs> no matter where you live my, so. my wife kills me because when she's seen him right first thing she said oh he was Elizabeth's boyfriend in the Waltons. Uh, yes. Ain't that amazing? Yes. <laughs> she knew that yep. and I didn't. Oh, the Waltons, huge. Yep. Gosh, that was not huge. What? That's 80s, isn't it? Waltons 80s? I start off in late 70s first. Yep. Late 70s, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm really excited. Bill Buckley is a producer on the film, and he's been great to work with. And uh, just everyone was, uh, you know, one of those just fun experiences. Yep. That's what's fun about acting, I would say, is that you're kind of like a gypsy. You know, you get sent off to these places in the world that you would never, Same you know, heard, heard of or think of going, and, and you go, and it's and that's what's so fun. It really is this, this gypsy lifestyle, which is something that I have always enjoyed about about uh, an acting career. Now, when you're an actress like that and you film at a certain period of time, like in Blakely, Georgia, mm-hmm. now when the shooting is done... Mm-hmm. Is it sad for you to leave? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, because one, it's so, you develop these relationships and friendships with, with people on the set, mm-hmm. and um, and then you're, um, and then you, you will maintain long-time friendships, too, you know, and then also just, just working, just work, doing a role and, and working is just so fun, you know, so, um you know, it's always sad to, you know, leave. But then again, it's like, oh, what will be my what will be my next adventure? You know. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, speaking of Savage, I got some news to tell you. Uh, yes. You know that Rue Morgue magazine. What magazine? Rue Morgue. More, I don't know Rue Morgue. Okay. Yeah, there's I believe you. Okay, a writer um, contacted Bo and told Bo Buckley that that is the best Bigfoot movie that he's seen in a long, long time. Really? Well, excellent. And the article is going to be posted. It's going to be coming in in the next few weeks. I will. Oh, my goodness. Yep. And I have to write down the name of the magazine again. I'm sorry. I'm I'm out of it. I do other (laughs) stuff. I don't full-time actress anymore. (laughs) Tell me the name. All right, great. Oh, and I also wanted to mention, you know, when I was talking about people that you meet and and they have friendships, um, the makeup artist was absolutely fantastic, Jennifer Chavez. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, and actually, we've we're become friends, you know, and and uh, you know, keep in touch. And um, and David Eubanks, who was the the UP, who was absolutely fantastic and generous. And so anyway, I have nothing to say but good things about that whole production. I had a great time. Yeah, I, w- I went to Horror Fine up in Gettysburg. Um, and mm-hmm. My intentions was to. Uh, Meet Justin Saponis and Bo Buckley, Gary mm-hmm. King. Oh yeah, Justin was lovely. Yeah. yeah, no, they're all. You know, it's it's like the Academy Awards. You can't remember everybody. Right. <laughs> exactly. But they were all so fun. Yeah. They're nice people. Yes, they are. Yeah, and I hope they produce more, and they should. I mean, they're a good conscientious, good conscientious group. You know. Yep. So at least that was my experience with them. So. Um, oh, and then there was this lovely actress. Oh gosh. Um, oh, she was so. Uh, oh, Anna Enger. Oh yeah. Who plays the lead, Gabriella, and she she's uh, what a beauty, what a beauty, and I expect to see her doing a lot more work. You know. I agree. So, yeah. Yep. Well. No, well, we got one more. We can let you go. I don't want to hold. Okay. Um, <laughs> Imago. It's in post production. You played Christine. <laughs> Did I say it right? Yeah, yeah, Imago, Imago. Imago. Mm-hmm. Yep, um, it's a Melhouse production, and we had uh, oh my goodness, we filmed what in um, August of last summer, I want to say. And uh, again, what a great group! Um, 
and in fact, we sh there's supposed to be a finished cut um, very soon, and um, I'll be at a, a show in Dallas. I can't recall the name of the show right now, but um, they're going to be um, should be available perhaps on CD. But anyway, they're a lovely company. Chris uh, Warren. And Melhouse wrote it, and Chris uh, also directed it. So um, anyway, again, and then Mel's uh, wife, Melanie, is in the film too, and Darlene, Darlene, Darlene. Um, and uh, you've, I'm sure you've heard of Debbie Rashawn. Oh, yes. Yep, Debbie Rashawn. She plays Dr. Kutcha. And uh, we have a great scene together. Oh, my God. It's a scene, actually, I want to use on my reel, on my acting reel. Cool. And uh, and then a young actress Natalie Jones, um, who uh, she plays Jennifer, and really the whole story is about Jennifer and uh, what's going on. And well, <laughs> I don't want to give anything, anything right. too much away, but it's, uh, but yeah, it's a it's a fun, there's some good gore, it's a good Sweet. story. There's you know some some really cool things in it. That's awesome. So um, yeah. Now, do you know when about when that's going to be out? I mean. I guess Savage or uh, no Imago. I think in the spring. Okay. I think they'll be they'll be ready. It's still in you know production and whatnot, editing and everything. But um, they're getting closer. And um, and then I did a couple other films too. Um, Gregory J. Martin is the director. Uh, one was called The Intruders um, with Mark with um, uh, Steve Bauer. Steve Bauer, and, and then The Intruders. I'm oh, sorry, no, I said The Intruders. Um, the other one was Sebastian. Sebastian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so, you know, all these just, um, you know, I just admire all these creative talents out there and, and you know, really working hard to put together a film, and um, and it's so great to see the independent film uh, industry is, um, you know, been blossoming, you know. It, it really died for quite a while. And now having all the years of experience and that I know, I know the time when things were just really dead for independence. You couldn't get anything off the ground. But it seems now with, you know, YouTube and, and, and whatnot, um, young artists have, a, you know, better opportunity and or this allows an avenue for them to um, contact actors and, and people they want to work with and, um, you know, get their project that they've been dreaming to do up on, up on screen. You know? Need to watch. Thanks a lot. Well, you too. Good luck with everything. Thank you very much.